Hello, this is J. Paul Zimmerman, and you're watching Z-60, the ZFO Weekly News Update. It's a brand new year, and there's certainly no shortage of geek news for us to disseminate. With that being said, please give it up, and by it, I mean all of your attention, for Brendan McKay. Hi, Z-60. This is Brendan McKay, and this is your sci-fi fantasy news. First up, Deadpool's marketing team has changed things up a little bit by releasing this image, depicting Deadpool like a romantic comedy being released on Valentine's Day. This is great because now you have one more opportunity to deceive your significant other into seeing another Marvel movie. Speaking of Marvel, they've officially hired Ryan Coogler, who directed Creed, to direct the upcoming Black Panther film. Hopefully it is just as inspiring, but a little bit less depressing. And finally, Disney is on a talent search to find who will play the young Han Solo. So help me God, Disney, if you hire Carl from The Walking Dead, I will cut off my ears and gouge out my eyes. Don't do it! That's it for your sci-fi fantasy news. Tune in next time because I desperately need your attention. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, bye. Thank you, Brendan. You've heard about the science fiction, and now it's time for the science fact. Here's ZFO Entertainment co-producer Bradley Pierce with Tech News. Hey everybody, Bradley Pierce here with your Z-60 Tech Update. Space privatization is finally becoming a reality, with Virgin Galactic announcing its Launcher 1 program. Now, the system is based on a modified Virgin Atlantic 747 nicknamed Cosmic Girl that fires satellites from under her belly like a fighter jet with fire a missile. According to Virgin, the project has a very low cost per launch. Now, low must be relative for them because the only number I was able to find on their website was below 10 million. Speaking of rich people with too much money, Elon Musk is stepping into the mass transit arena with his zero-waste, self-sustaining Hyperloop system. Now, the goal of the system is not just cleaner mass transit, but faster. We're talking much faster, like 300 miles an hour faster. Construction's already underway on a 50-acre plot of land in southern Nevada, and he's moving very fast to test the system. He wants the first prototypes tested by spring of this year with a full rollout multi-city network by 2020. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Thank you, Bradley. Those are certainly some interesting scientific facts. Another well-known scientific fact, people love pops. Here to talk about it is John. Hi, John here for another wonderful Pop Final Update. Now, it's been a little bit since you've seen me and there's been a lot going on in the pop community. However, I'm just going to focus on some of the newer releases to keep you all up to date. Now, Hot Topic's going to get an early release of Doctor Who coming this month with one exclusive coming to their stores. In February, Disney's doing a release of the Alice in Wonderland remake pops. There's four or five coming to that line, and this is the first time that they've been released, and they just have that really fun, quirky look that Alice in Wonderland is known for, especially the remake. In March, there's going to be a Pirates of the Caribbean line with Davy Jones, Jack Sparrow, and all that, and they look great. I really like them. So keep an eye out for those, and as always, this is John, signing out. Thank you, John. Excellent reporting as always. If we could afford to pay you, we'd pay you in pops. And now, one last thing. I'm very proud to announce that the entire first season of ZFO Entertainment's very first original web series, Andy the Android Dick, is available for binging on our YouTube channel. Please check it out, let us know what you think, and be on the lookout for Season 2 coming later this year. That's all for us this week. We'll be seeing you in the future.